Welcome back, guys. Time now is 824. Stress has been linked to several health issues, and now research suggests it may also be tied to type 2 diabetes. Now, even if you lead an otherwise healthy lifestyle, you could still be at risk. Dr. Romy Mushchak joins us now to talk more about it. Now, can you tell us what the normal risk factors are for diabetes? Great question, Kirsten. Mm -hmm. We know diabetes is endemic in the United States. And so normally we know if you're obese, even about 20% above your normal body weight, if you have an increased waist circumference that's more than 35 inches for women or 37 for men, you know, or you lead a sedentary lifestyle. But what's very interesting in this latest research that got published was there's one more factor that even if you have a normal weight and you're exercising can still lead to diabetes type two, and that's having a lot of stress in your life. So you're saying I should just quit my job now? I know. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of fun here every Saturday yes, morning. Uh -huh. No, you can't do that. No. Yeah. Actually, what we're talking about is, you know, having stress every now and then is normal in everybody's lives. But mm -hmm. for people who can't cope with stress mm -hmm. or are having long-standing issues like unhappy at a job or going mm -hmm. through a prolonged divorce, those chemical changes that are we talk about that happen mm -hmm. in the brain, the elevated cortisol, are depleting insulin in the body. So that makes people people what we call insulin dependent. depleted mm -hmm. and now they have insulin dependent diabetes mellitus and that's exactly what this research showed interestingly though Kirsten this research was done primarily in men mm -hmm. so this data is probably more significant and I'd love to see the research happening in women and I'm sure it'll translate the same mechanism yes. so what can people do to kind of cope with these symptoms of stress so that they're yes. not having these issues with diabetes because you're saying that it's people who usually have pretty good you know health are yes. overweight are exercising maybe and are living a somewhat healthy lifestyle, but are still having issues with diabetes yeah. due to stress. So how can people cope with that stress to avoid the diabetes? Absolutely, so here's the thing is, we think stress is a part of our normal day-to-day -day life. That's not true, it's how we cope with it. So how do we know if we're coping with stress well or not? If you're not sleeping well, falling asleep easily, or waking up in the middle of the night with a to-do list running in the mm -hmm. head or waking up exhausted, that means you need help. So number one, talk to a professional, maybe even a psychologist about how to cope with stress effectively. Mm -hmm. The second thing is work with your doctor on how to get a regular sleep schedule. It is amazing what the science shows that once we restore our sleep, these same chemical imbalances that can lead to diabetes and gaining weight will actually correct themselves. And third and last but not least is no matter how depressed or stressed you may be, make time for that physical activities those natural chemicals that get released with physical activities yeah. endorphins mm -hmm. will just shift you to a place of happiness even if something's not quite working right in your We've life been told this I mean all our lives right, right. sleep yes. and get exercise it's so important all right thanks so much dr. Romy thank you Kirsten back to you Tom